What do you think you know about mushrooms? Tasty? Delicious? Psychedelic? Well, yes, all of the above. But did you know that they have more in common with humans than they do with plants? We come from fungi. It puts an interesting slant on the idea of being a vegan. Mushrooms are the fruiting body of a mycelium network. Mushrooms are the bit we see. Mycelium filaments are the roots. In a cubic inch of soil, there is up to eight miles of these filaments. A mycelium network has been found in Canada that is the biggest organism on the planet, extending nearly 3,000 acres and over 2,000 years old. It dwarfs the largest living animal, the blue whale, and is bigger than any plant colony. It transforms solid rock into soil. This aided terrestrial evolution. The earliest fossil ever found is a mycelium network, estimated at 2.4 billion years old, older than any plant or animal. The mycelium network can be likened to the brain it uses similar electrical signals to our nerve cells. This is one of the amazing facts about fungi, that the electrical signals fungi send to each other have been analyzed mathematically. And what has been discovered is nothing short of astonishing. These signals have patterns that are shockingly similar to human speech. They communicate with each other. Previous research has suggested that the mycelium network conduct electrical impulses through long underground filamentous structures called hyphae, similar to how nerve cells transmit information in humans. These impulses increase when the hyphae come into contact with obstacles, raising the possibility that fungi use this electrical language to share information about food or injury with distant parts of themselves, or with connected partners such as trees. Are they therefore capable of thinking, decision making or problem solving? Cordyceps clearly show some form of intelligence as it taps into the central nervous system of its host, be it an ant or a cricket or a beetle and then controls it, its motion, its function, like a remote control car. But are they intelligent? No one really denies the intelligence of the octopus or crows or other corvids. So what about schools of fish or termites constructing air conditioned buildings? or ants building bridges, fungal farms, or boats, or the murmurations of starlings. Maybe we'll never know. Me, well, I embrace the strange. <laughs>